mislead people or like people are imagining us with like goblets and we're like Game of Thrones drinking each other's blood. It's just a few drops, but yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes only. <laughs> it is used for a reason and it is controlled where it's like, let's shed a few drops of blood and each drink it. He's much more haphazard and hectic and chaotic where he's willing to just like cut his chest open with broken glass and be like, take my soul. Well, this is demonic. This is pure foolishness. And I'm going to tell you why it's demonic. It's demonic because Satan imitates God. What we do in the spirit with God, Satan tries to imitate it carnally are in the flesh. She said they drink each other's blood during rituals. Clearly they think that drinking each other's blood is gonna make them one. Where else do we hear that? Oh, I know, in the Bible. John 56, six, he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. Now is Jesus talking about cannibalism? No, and for anyone who thinks that does not understand God's word and spirit. The Lord is talking about coming into oneness with him, absorbing his word, which is the bread of life, which is his flesh. The Lord is talking about engrafting the word inside of us, which is him, which is his DNA, which is his blood. Now that spirit and truth, something that the devil tries to imitate, but in the flesh, which is why people like this would be foolish enough to actually drink each other's own blood. It's complete foolishness. Everything God does, Satan tries to imitate in the flesh. Why do you think at satanic events or satanic rituals, there's a whole lot of people just having orgies? There's a whole lot of people just having intercourse. I'll tell you why. Because as the body of Christ, the word tells us to fellowship with each other. That word fellowship in the Greek means koinonia, which also means intercourse, which also means intimacy. Now, does that mean physical intercourse and physical intimacy? No. It's spiritual people, but the devil tries to imitate that in the flesh, which is why people in satanic rituals will really be having sex. The foolishness. Now, what's spiritual intercourse? What's spiritual fellowship? What's spiritual koinonia? Luke 8, 11 says the seed is the word. If believers are coming together and feeding each other the seed, which is the word, which also means sparos in the Greek or zara in Hebrew, which also means semen, then we're impregnating each other's womb with the seed of God, with God's DNA. As we are born again, we become babies in the spirit. And the more we are fed the seed, the more we grow in the spirit. It's not about looking at the words carnally. It's about understanding God's word in the spirit. When you truly can understand God's parables and God's word and spirit and truth, then you truly have the Holy Spirit inside of you. That's something the Pharisees couldn't understand. That's why they hated Jesus. We're coming into a place where we need to get back in spirit and truth. Seek Christ.